My name is Emily Wilson and I am the current president of NEARC and I am representing the NEARC um, board of directors who are listed here on the screen. I want to first thank our Massachusetts host committee um, that was well on the way to planning an excellent conference this spring at Westfield State University. Um, the group was led by Karsten Braun and when we had to make some abrupt changes. So I want to thank them and hopefully we'll get back to um, that conference in the future. Today, I want to thank Esri for both sponsoring this event and providing the excellent program that you see uh, coming up today. So I think we may have some new attendees, um, some new NEARC folks. So as a bit of background, NEARC is the Northeast ARC Users Group, which was founded in 1986. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization and all volunteer. We host two conferences a year, one's a one day spring conference, which is this one, and a three day fall conference. Um, the spring conference rotates around central New England and the three day conference rotates around the six New England states and New York. We also have an active listserv for all relevant topics and a wonderful community of um, GIS folks across the region. Our fall conference is still being planned uh, in full force for the Mount Washington Hotel on November 15th to 18th. Um, it is a stunning location if you haven't been there, so hopefully you can join us. We are monitoring the current situation as things do unfold now and into the summer. So to be aware of any announcements or changes, please join either the listserv, which is meant for all relevant topics, or the, con the conference contact list, um, which is conference-based announcements. Both of those are on the NEARC website. And finally, thank you to Paul Rooney and his great team here at Esri who are gonna put on a, a day-long program. Um, this is no small feat and a lot of work. Uh, NEARC great, greatly appreciates it. Um, everybody, we are all spread around in our homes, so our NEARC audience will be very patient if there are any glitches, but we don't anticipate any problems. So thank you again, Paul. I hope some of you have your NEARC mug and um, enjoy the day. Thanks, Emily, and good morning, everybody. On behalf of my ESRI colleagues, thank you all for joining in on our first virtual spring NEARC. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, we would not be able to exist as a company without you. So we're really grateful of your commitment to GIS and for your participation in the day. As of registration time this morning at our kickoff, we had more than 600 of you folks registering for the conference. So we're really excited about that. You come from uh, all over the public, private, and nonprofit sector, from states as far west as Oregon, far south as Georgia, and including somebody who had registered from Portugal. So thank you all. We're really thrilled that you're here and joining us for the day. These are unique times. We are here in the midst of and because of some unique circumstances in our life. We shoulder unique responsibilities as professionals who are able to see the world in the way that we do. We carry unique capabilities with us as we serve our communities, our organizations, and as we participate in frequently a growing number of Zoom meetings. Uh, including this one. There are unique opportunities in front of us as a community, and we look forward to exploring those in more depth with you today. I wanted to start by just sharing a few specific slides with you. Uh, these represent kind of an interesting cross-section of new users in our community. The Greater Boston Food Bank, for example, is responding to food shortages in the greater Boston metro area, looking at the impact of closed and active agencies in the greater Boston area. The uh, Agency for uh, Community Development in Vermont has been leveraging street maps to uh, deploy different streetscape improvements as part of their Vermont Better Connections program. In upstate New York, Saratoga County Department of Health has been leveraging the COVID-19 dashboard 
to uh, document confirmed cases of COVID, the numbers of deaths, numbers of tested, et cetera. It's one of dozens of similar organizations, many of you included, across our region who've been leveraging our DRP capabilities, our disaster response capabilities throughout the outbreak of the virus. And finally, in New York, uh, on an ongoing challenge, the folks in a not-for-profit in the city of New York have been mapping the locations of more than 100,000 homeless students and how they are enabling uh, opportunities for their own education while dealing with the social issues of homelessness. So I bring these four examples up because they constitute uses of our technology that are compelling. They constitute new user cases, in many cases with not-for-profits, and with groups that we have not done as much with in the past, and we're expanding the use of GIS into a, in a greater number of communities. So as I said, these are unique times, and this is a unique day. This is the first time we've ever done a virtual New York. Uh, we hope that it is as effective as our in-person meetings are, mindful of the fact that we can't be in the same place. So we hope that you pick up something uh, useful throughout the course of the day. And I wanted to share with you now what the format of that day will be. First of all, you've made it to the Zoom meeting, so that's great. You can choose to stay on and enjoy the sessions as you wish throughout the day, or hopefully enjoy the entire day. You can also log off and log back on using this same Zoom location throughout the day. We'll be having a 15 minute break between each of our technical sessions. We'll be using those for question and answer, to grab a cup of coffee, to check email, et cetera. Around 12 o'clock, taking an hour off for lunch. The sessions will be recorded and then we will let each of you know the location where they will be published. To interact with us during this session, please use the Q&A button in your Zoom uh, interface. We'll have moderators on board during each of the sessions, and then we'll use the 15 minute gap between the sessions to go into further details. Your microphones will be muted and your chat and your cameras will be disabled throughout the event. After Emily and I finish up with our introductions here this morning, we're going to be going into our morning session. We're gonna go directly into uh, a session with Matt Deal and Tom Schwartzman, who will be covering the ArcGIS platform overview and some of the new capabilities within 10.8, Pro 2.5, online, and our growing set of apps. That'll be coming directly after this. At 10 o'clock, Krithika Kantharaj will be sharing with us some information on ArcGIS for the Internet of Things, which is certainly a growing set of capabilities when you consider the number of devices that we have leveraging location. Andrew Makowicki picks up at 1045 with session number four, the ArcGIS Spatial Analytical Tools and Techniques demonstration. And then Mark Scott will wrap up at 1130 with the first of two different field data collection sessions he'll be doing. This one will be on rapid field data acquisition, leveraging ArcGIS Quick Capture. Right before lunch, we're going to recognize the 2020 SAG Award winners and then give a brief overview on ESRI training, including a brief video on the focus of ESRI online training, which is becoming a more and more desirable option for many folks. We'll take lunch, be back at one o'clock, and in the afternoon, Mark will kick us off again with a session focused on the solutions around ESRI's COVID-19 response. Tom will be back at 1.45 talking about ArcGIS Hub and how it's being leveraged to, to foster greater community engagement amongst our customers. At 2.30, Matt Deal will be giving a, pretty, a compelling overview of the different trends or waves to GIS success and how best to navigate them. And then Mark will conclude the technical sessions this afternoon at 3.15 with a session on survey one, two, three and latest enhancements there. And then at 3.45, 
Emily and I will return to wrap up and go through the final Q&A. Thank you again for taking the time out of your day. I hope that during the course of the day, you uh, learn a new technique, learn a new story, uh, maybe make a new connection with somebody that will improve the work of your organizations. The work that each of you do is extremely important, maybe more so now than ever before. We hope that the day is useful in furthering the work of you and your organizations, and we thank you again for your commitment to GIS and to you, your investments that you make into Esri as a company. Mm -hmm.